So the five most disturbing sorry. things that have happened in schools. So in honor of a new semester starting again, today we're going to look at some of the most disturbing things that have happened in schools around the world. Okay. Number five. Wow. A recent Reddit post in the subreddit Creepy documented the horrifying tale of a teenager named Jack. Jack says he attended West Lynn High School in Oregon. Oh. He raised his hand one day to go to the bathroom during class, and on his way to the bathroom felt a strange presence in the hallway, feeling as if something were following him. Hell no. As he was in the bathroom stall, he started to hear the sounds of nails lightly scraping against the stall door. Hey, bruh. He looked under the stall door, and there were no feet anywhere in sight. Oh, he seemed to be the only one in the bathroom. He says a crack in the ceiling from above him made him look up and see this. There was a hole in the ceiling with an expressionless head staring down at Jack. He describes his reactions as fumbling onto the stall door and becoming paralyzed in fear, gazing up at the ghostly face staring down at him. He says he somehow managed to take this picture of the face with his cell phone which he already had out, and after that ran straight to the janitor's office to show them. The original picture is in horrible quality, however someone took it upon themselves to clean the picture up a bit, stabilizing it and removing some of the noise to it. It's not much better, but this is what it looks like now. To his credit, there had been reports of noises in the bathroom by other students. Wow. Some thought it was a ghost. Some thought it was a homeless person hiding up there. And others just thought he was making it up. Bullshit. It's a fucking creep. Number four. Fuck it. Oh, fuck you. The hallways of Pocatello High School are allegedly haunted. Unedited video surveillance captured on several occasions strange events, such as lights flickering on and off, cameras shutting off, and most disturbingly, a specter is seen slowly floating toward a doorway, oh. stops, and then moves away. Shit. The ghostly figure is as tall as a person, but does not resemble anyone in particular. While the figure could be argued as something hanging in front of the camera, that does not explain the mysterious lights. The fuck was that? Officials at the school said that this was only a highlight of what goes on at the school. Students and staff alike have reported strange sounds such as whispering or a piano being played on its own. Officials said teachers and janitors would complain about being left alone in the auditorium due to strange noises and a dark looming shadow figure. Shit. To make this all more disturbing, this school has had a history as well, counting six deaths and it's burning down. Why would, well, hold on. I'm sorry for cutting you off. But why would anybody still be attending that, that school? Are you shit? You're shitting me. Bruh, you got me fucked up. No. Hell no. I can't. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. I'm not. I'm not the one to do my research on the school um before i actually attended like i mean well okay okay yeah okay let me rephrase that i am that type of person to do my research but as far as i'm not i'm not researching whether or not you know some shit like this goes down in the school but if i if i go to a brand new school and during, you know, orientation, you know, when, when you're with that group and they have orientation for this and they show you around all the classrooms and, you know, they show you the gym and, and all that shit, right? And they stop us and the person that's leading the actual group, like that teacher or professor or whoever who's leading us and telling us you know some information about the school the moment they say right things like uh there's been x amount of deaths in this school or 
there's, you know, there's been stories where students have heard some whispers and they was the only motherfuckers in the classroom or, or, you know, there's been cases of, of lights flickering when that the, you know, electricity and lights get checked on often or, you know, there's been cases of a fucking chair being thrown across, across the classroom on camera, you know, and, and it's nobody in the classroom. If they tell me anything even close to that, I'm call, if my mom was alive, I'm calling my mom and be like, yo, mama, I, I can't do this. I, I, if you can't find me another school, I highly suggest, right, you, you, you know, you, you homeschool me or something because I can't, or, or if you're not going to homeschool me, then, and you can't find me another school, I'm guess, I'm, I guess I'm just going to be dumb for the rest of my life because I'm not about to be stay in no fucking school where some weird paranormal activity or some abnormal shit go, goes on in the school more often. No, that sounds, that, you know, listen to yourself. That, that sounds crazy. Who the hell would stay in a, oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's so late. Why am I watching this right now? Number three. This is the disturbing video of a girl who was believed to be under possession by a demon. Mm -hmm. She was usually a well-behaved student, who on the day in question was acting completely normal, up until a point where she started screaming uncontrollably at seemingly nothing. No, I'm not it! <laughs> she starts to become clearly paranoid of her surroundings, and begins to speak and act as if she is someone else. She remembers absolutely no one around her, including her peers and teachers. Wow. As she begins to scream and act crazier, she is held down, and a lot of the speaking you hear in the background is prayer for the girl. As you can see, the teachers try to help without any success. Damn! The teachers aren't even holding her down. They're like, they're lightly touching her. Like, I would have been like, bitch, who? I would have, <laughs> I would have, bruh, I would have held her down like, like, bitch, stay the fuck down. <laughs> Can't you see you're fucking possessed? I really hope she still wasn't attending that school. Cause I don't know, bro. I can't even be in a school with somebody that's that's possessed, or that gets possessed. Cause one of them either that either she gonna have to go or I'm gonna have to go. One of us gonna have to go, for real. And even even if she goes, I'm still leaving. You know? Cause what if what if that what if that that spirit or that demon that got into her, like what if she leaves, but the, that 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 spirit is still. On the, on the, on the, you know, on the school, uh, 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 premises, you know? It can just, it can just, it can move from body to body, but not my body, you know why? Cause bitch, I'm gone. What the fuck was that? Her fucking it's screen. been reported that the girl was sent to the monastery where she was treated and had been recovered from an evil spirit. Was she recovered though? Like was she? Did y'all Number two. A couple of Afghan teenagers decided to videotape a said to be haunted abandoned school. They expressed their fear on several occasions throughout the video, but seemed to be more excited to finally be able to videotape this place as they had been planning to do so for a long time. 
They don't see anything strange at all besides some odd drawings on the wall and abandoned school equipment. At a later point in the video though, a strange ghost-like entity makes an appearance. Oh my fucking shit, I saw that. Upon closer analysis, the figure appears to be missing a head. The no. teenagers claim they did not see anything while filming in the school. What? They only noticed the entity after watching the video on their computer when they went home. It's become a relatively well-known clip on YouTube by now, and remains one of the more interesting clips of the supposed paranormal. Wow. Number uh -huh. one. Mm. According to another Reddit post, a 45-year-old janitor was working overnight at the Visual Art Institute in Massachusetts on a cold, snowy January night. He wasn't comfortable with it, as everybody in the institute was reporting hearing noises coming from inside the walls and in the vents. The janitor would scrub the bathrooms out and hear muffled noises coming from inside the walls. Hell! Huh? No. He moved no. on to the classrooms and studios and heard slight rumbling type noises coming from the vents. Later that night, the janitor went to the basement to fetch a drill from the supply closet when he heard a tapping noise. Fuck. No. The no. tapping noise was louder than any other sounds he had heard. He found out the sounds were coming from a vent. He undid the screws to the vents. He found a man hiding in the vents that jumped out practically tackling him. The janitor bashed the man in the head unconscious. The man was escorted to the hospital, where he admitted to being homeless and that he had been spying on people in the art classes and in the bathrooms through tiny holes in the vents and walls. Fucking... Fucking creep, bruh. Hey, shouts out to all the janitors that be staying after hours and, um... and just staying after everybody leaves just to clean up everything. Because you gotta have... I feel like... The janitors, uh, janitors that stay after hours, you got some real cojones, because I, I don't know if I can do that shit. I, I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't do that. Because the second, the second I hear some shit, I would have I dropped the mop. I would have dropped, I don't, know what, what, I don't know what the fuck I'll be doing. Taking the trash from each classroom. Or oh, I would have either dropped the mop, dropped the Windex, you know, dropped whatever the fuck I was doing. And would have been like, just nonchalantly, I, w I wouldn't run, depending on what the noise was and how loud it was, right? I would have just nonchalantly just dropped whatever the fuck I was doing. And just walked out. Depending on what it was and how loud no noise was. Now, granted, if it was something like a light tapping on a, on a wall, like I don't something something like this. If it was something like that, yeah, I'm walking out. Not just I'm just walking out like. Like, like, fuck it. I quit. I can't. Nope, my heart can't take this. Now, if I heard this shit, um, it's about to be loud as shit. But if I heard, um, if I heard this, if I heard this, bitch, I'm, 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 I'm. Oh, I'm running so fucking fast. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. Fuck that janitor said. Nope. So that's why I say kahudos to all the janitors out there because I cannot be in y'all shoes. But thank God I've been the schools that I have been in throughout my life, they were all good, wholesome, um, good environment, good quality schools.
you know, average, no weird shit has happened since I was, you know, in school. Preschool, elementary, middle, high school, college, all of that. Yeah, I've just had a nice, pleasant... So, the five most disturbing so. things that have happened in schools. So in honor of a new semester starting again, today we're going to look at some of the most disturbing things that have happened in schools around the world. Okay. Number five. Wow. A recent Reddit post in the subreddit Creepy documented the horrifying tale of a teenager named Jack. Jack says he attended West Lynn High School in Oregon. Yeah. Oh. He raised his hand one day to go to the bathroom during class, and on his way to the bathroom felt a strange presence in the hallway, feeling as if something were following him. Hell no. As he was in the bathroom stall, he started to hear the sounds of nails lightly scraping against the stall door. Hell, bruh. He looked under the stall door, and there were no feet anywhere in sight. Oh, shoot. He seemed to be the only one in the bathroom. He says a crack in the ceiling from above him made him look up and see this. So, The five most disturbing so. things that have happened in schools. So in honor of a new semester starting again, today we're going to look at some of the most disturbing things that have happened in schools around the world. Okay. Number five. A recent Reddit post in the subreddit Creepy documented the horrifying tale of a teenager named Jack. Jack says he attended West Lynn High School in Oregon. Oh. He raised his hand one day to go to the bathroom during class, and on his way to the bathroom felt a strange presence in the hallway, feeling as if something were following him. Hell no. As he was in the bathroom stall, he started to hear the sounds of nails lightly scraping against the stall door. Hell bruh. He looked under the stall door, and there were no feet anywhere in sight.